joined now by Bison offensive lineman Paul Cornick. And Paul, thanks for coming over. You've been a pretty popular guy today. How does it feel to be in the limelight here? It's always great to get that offensive line love. So, you know, it's a good feeling, I guess. You guys have sort of an inferiority complex, do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know, we're all born with it. <laughs> but are you okay with that? I mean, you guys are toiling there. You're just, you're blocking. You're in the in the trenches there 24-7. Uh, what's it like doing that when you normally don't get a lot of attention? You know, for me, that's what I prefer. You know, I don't need to be in the spotlight, but, you know, it's a, it's definitely an unsung position, but, you know, we all, you know, we can handle it. Yeah. We, yeah, sure. Good. I think you're going to have a, a lot of depth on the offensive line. Coach Bowl has talked about the offensive line, not only you, but lots of other guys who are back and, and the quality of, of the offensive line. What do you think about the guys up front now this year? Well, it's great that we have a lot of guys who's coming back with a lot of experience, so that's always a plus, you know, especially at the offensive line. I think experience is one of the most important things you can have. And we also have a lot of a lot of talent, too. You know, you got Billy and some young guys in there that can really make a difference. I want to maybe expand on that. Why is it so important to have the experience on the offensive line in order to get better? Because there are so many things that you're doing that we don't know about. Right. Well, I think it's a really big difference coming to play college uh, football in the offensive line position. I mean, there's a drastic change, and it's definitely you don't get anything like it until you get into a real game. And that's pretty much for any position. But especially in the Missouri Valley when you have a physical game every time you go out there it's it's definitely you know invaluable to get that experience let's talk a little bit more about Missouri Valley Conference football because every single game it's a battle in there right and you're right in there in the thick of it all the time can you put into words what it's like facing some of these big dudes on the defensive fronts that you're facing week after week? Uh, well, um, definitely in the Missouri Valley, you're going to get you're going to get hit every time you go out there, and we wouldn't have it any other way. We we're the same way, you know. We're born with that run blocking in our heart, and uh, that's what NDSU football is. So we're excited that we're in the ND or Missouri Valley yeah. Conference. Yeah. Once you saw some of the other teams that we saw in the playoffs, what do you think of Valley competition versus some of the competition you had in the postseason? You know, it's definitely a different style. You can tell that from play one. Um, going from the Missouri Valley where, you know, you got big guys that are going to gonna butt heads every single play, and then maybe when a, a guy from another conference just, you know, you kind of stun them right away. But, you know, they're competition too, and it's not, it's not you know, we got to respect our opponents sure. either way. Yeah. So, What have you done during the summer, both individually and as an offensive line, to try to get better? You know, everybody's been working hard this summer, and I can't say any. I've done we got to, I mean, <laughs> we, we've conditioned hard. We've gotten the weight room, gotten bigger, faster, stronger, all that. you got to work on feet, speed, everything. So everybody's been working hard, and we're excited to see, see what happens this year. You've gotten a lot of preseason accolades, and I'm curious just uh, how do you react to that, especially, again, for a guy who doesn't seek the limelight? <laughs> I actually, I don't even know what the preseason <laughs> accolades are, but, you know, the, the preseason polls and accolades, all that, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. It matters what you do during the season. So, And right now we're in fall camp, so right now it's all about working hard and getting better. <laughs> Seems like there's maybe a little bit more stability at quarterback coming into this fall as opposed to last fall. Brock's the number one. In Nestle Thornton is the number two. How big of a deal is that for the offense as a whole? Um, that's a great feeling knowing that you got you got a quarterback in there that's going to be there every game, and you know you can trust them, and it, you know it can really open up. When we have a consistent passing game, it can open up the run game, and it can make you know a balanced offense can really do well. So it's really exciting to see what what our quarterbacks are going to be capable of this year. What do you prefer, run blocking or pass blocking? Oh, I'll run block any day, any day of the week, <laughs> no question. And to that end, you've got a couple of great tailbacks in DJ McNorton and Sam O'Jury. With Sam returning to the team, what does that do to the running game, and how excited are you as an offensive lineman about that? Uh, Sam's a, Sam's an impressive, you know, he's strong and fast. It's going to be great to watch him. I mean, he's got a whole other aspect. Like, DJ will make you miss every, every time, but Sam will run through you, pass you. So it's going to be fun to see those two work this 
this year. I know Coach Bowles talking about trying to get better balance, have a higher completion percentage through the passing game. The running game was great last year. What are your thoughts about the offense and the production you can have this year? Um, I think our, our possibilities are unlimited. You know, um, if we get a get that pass game consistent, we'll we'll take what the defense will give us. But I mean, I'm excited to see. But it's still there's a lot of work to be done in fall camp, and and it's a long way to go to that first game. And we definitely have a lot of improvement that we need to make. Mm -hmm. You've probably been asked this already. The Gopher game is looming in the middle of September, but you got a couple of big games before that at home against Lafayette and St. Francis. How do you avoid looking ahead to the Gophers when you know you've got a couple of tough home games to start? You know, I, I don't really put names on my opponents. Man. I, I kind of just see them as like faceless, nameless people in front of me. It doesn't matter who I'm playing, like a, a Pee Wee, a Pee Wee squad or uh, the Vikings. You know, so you know, I know that we got to give our opponents respect, no matter who they are. And uh, if we don't, then we're going to be in trouble. Mm. So it's all right by you if the offense rolls up big yards and Brock Jensen and D.J. McNorton get most of the limelight. You don't care? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well said. Paul, thanks for the visit. Good luck this year. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.